Wait until you receive what my Father has promised. Luke 24, 49. On this seventh week of Easter, we greet you in the name of our risen and ascended Lord and Savior. This message comes to all my sisters and brothers across the diocese, the Caribbean, the nation, and the world. Today's scripture tells us to wait until the appointed time when something special will happen. On Thursday last week, we celebrated the physical departure of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from his followers. Before he left, he commanded them to wait until such a time when they will be empowered to move around continuing the ministry he shared with and among them. The wait he called his followers to was not some idle time doing nothing, nor did the disciples remain idle during the in-between time. For the disciples and certain other followers, while they all waited, they constantly devoted themselves to prayer and fellowship. So could we. The command and promise gave the people hope that something special will happen at a time they did not know. We too have been asked to wait in our homes and away from large gatherings until such time as it becomes clear that the COVID-19 pandemic is on the decline and not being transmitted by asymptomatic persons. As we contemplate reopening for public worship, please pay close attention to the reports from the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, and our local health departments and governments. Our governments have raised the number from 10 to 20 or 50 persons who can gather for worship. And although the following protocol must be strictly adhered to, social distancing, hand sanitizing, wearing face masks, and a mechanism for contact tracing, etc. That should not give us license to begin immediately. This is a process that we should approach gradually with great with a great degree of caution. Quite recently, on one of our Caribbean islands, it was stated that 30 persons gathered for worship and three became infected with the COVID virus. Having made previ previous preparations for our reopening, it is prudent to wait a while longer to err on the side of caution. This may be the safest measure we can take to minimize the risk to our parishioners. For the followers of Jesus, waiting was a good thing. You see, they waited with hope because a promise was given to them. As we wait for the appropriate time, a time only God knows, we must wait with hope in our hearts. The promise is obvious, health and life. Proverbs 11:18 tells us, full of hope, you will live secure, dwelling well and safely guarded. Everyone who is linked with that promise, still live in hope. Sisters and brothers in Christ, there is great hope for us if we trust in God's word and believe that the ancient word and the present word come to us through God's messengers. You see, God has given various gifts to humankind for the benefit of all humanity. 
1 Corinthians 12 speaks of a variety of gifts given for the good of all. May our time away from the business of life give us the opportunity to develop a discerning spirit so that we may listen, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest to quote one of the colleagues for the latter Pentecost season what is necessary to keep us safe during our sojourn. With hope in our hearts, we endure the present, knowing that the Word of God tells us not to be downcast, but to put our hope in God. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. The New Jerusalem Bible, Psalm 27, 14. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.